I'm alive today, Daddy. Is by your grace. I woke up this morning. Is by your grace. Those people who have died today, I am no greater than them. Those people in the mortuary, I am no cooler than them. I'm alive today, Daddy. Is by your grace. I woke up this morning. Is by your grace. Those people who have died today, I am no greater than them. Those people in the mortuary, I am no cooler than them. I'm alive today, Papa, is by your grace. I woke up this morning, is by your grace. Those people who have died today, I am no greater than them. Those people in the mortuary, I am no cooler than them. I'm alive today, Papa, is by your grace. I woke up this morning, is by your grace. Those people who have died today, I am no greater than them. Those people in the mortuary, I am no cooler than them. Father in heaven, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, I want to thank you for the gift of life. I want to thank you for the gift of peace. I want to thank you for the gift of salvation. I want to thank you for the gift of your fire, your masses, and your privilege even to serve you this morning. And I want to appreciate you because you have kept us and you have given us strength to continue praying for the nation of Kenya. You have given us the ability and capacity even to enter into the spirit world and to stand in the gap for the nation of Kenya, that Kenya will have peace. Kenya will receive the right president. Kenya will get the right uh, leaders in our nation and even in our county and the nation of Kenya shall enjoy grace in this nation. I want to thank you and I want to bless you. As we begin to pray, Father, I am inviting you, I am inviting the Holy Spirit to convict us, to push us, to pray according to your will. Every one of us standing in their own line and also pray knowing that every reward shall be given to us and every work shall pass through fire. Father God, I thank you and I bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. What a wonderful Sunday to meet with you once again. And what a beautiful, beautiful morning for us to make intercession for the nation of Kenya. I welcome you on board and I love you with all my heart. And every day I pray for you that God will continue strengthening you, that the gifts in you shall grow and you shall become important in this nation for intercession and for standing in the gap that when the saints, their names shall be mentioned, the warriors also shall be mentioned. When the generals are being rewarded, you shall be rewarded for standing in the gap for this nation. May the good God bless you. May the good God fill you with grace and abundance in the name of Jesus Christ. Once again, welcome on board. Today I have very powerful, powerful and serious prayers. Amen. Powerful and serious prayers. Amen. I want us to pray for two things today before I enter into warfare. 
that the Lord has led me through the night to intercede and I want us to really deal with it and to ask God to show us mercy. Number one, prayer. We are going to pray for our friend, her honorable uh, mother Karua. We are going to pray for her. The Lord was speaking to me in the night that she is lost in politics and God is interested with the mother Karua. We are going to tell the Lord to order her footsteps that she will not be wasted in politics. And the Lord told me that if this year she will not enter in the right place, she may not be heard in politics again, even if she will still be alive in this nation. And because she is one of us, she is our leader in this nation, and God is interested with her, we are going to intercede for her. Number two, prayer. We are going to pray for Kisumu County. The Lord showed me a very strong wind, a very strong wind this week. And many of them, they are calling me. God is speaking to intercessors in Kisumu and they are confirming what God has been speaking to me. I want us to intercede for Kisumu County. Kisumu County, Apostle Damaris loves you and that is why God has put you in her spirit to intercede for you. Amen, amen, amen. Please don't fight me. Don't put funny words. We are praying. Amen. Now, Psalms 37. Psalms 37 and verses 23. The Bible says that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Mother Karua is a good person. The Lord is saying the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And his delight is in his ways. What a way to start. Amen. What a way to start our prayers. I want us to go to Proverbs. I want us to go to Proverbs. Please, I'm not looking for friendship with the politicians. As some of you will think, I am just serving God in my capacity. Amen. Now, Proverbs chapter 4 and verses 18. The Bible says that, but the parts of the just is as the shining light that shines more and more to the perfect day. The parts of the just is as the shining light the sh that shines more and more to the perfect day. We are praying for this specific woman and we are telling the Lord, let her parts be ordered by the Lord so that her parts can shine more and more to the perfect day. Amen. The final scripture, the final scripture is in Matthew 13. Glory be to God. Matthew chapter 13 and verses, Matthew 13 and verses 43. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father who has ears to hear, let them hear. I just want to obey God so that my hands will be clean over this issue. Amen. I was, I was debating with God. Let me do it in private. Let me do it with my warriors. Let me do it with my church, with the church of Christ that I'm leading. And the Lord told me, open your mouth audibly in Jesus' name. Then, the, then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father who has ears to hear, let them hear. We are going to pray for Mother Karua. Maybe I can give you Psalms 23. Sometimes when God gives you some prayers, you support yourself with the, with the word of God. The Bible says in Psalms 23, which is our word for this month, and verses, and verses let me deal with verses, uh, verses uh, 6, verses 5 and 6. The Bible says, verses 3, he restoreth my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Number three is what I'm looking for. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. We are going to pray for Mother Karua. Mother Karua, God is interested with you in the politics of this nation. Amen. Baga do pro zanta leba da bresa. Let Mother Karua find her parts of politics. Mareba. Sherebezi Atia Badua. Rendo Boza Kadia. 
I uproot her, Kai Bodia. I plant her into the mind of God. Rende Bozigi Dibia. Shere Bezi Atia Badua. Rendo Bozuta Liba Dabreza. Shende de Bezi Atia Bada. Honorable Mother Karua. God is interested with you in these elections. God is interested with you. Kai Badua Bandobo Sakadia. In the politics of this nation, God is interested with you. Rendele Baziada. Maragada la Boza. Sherebezia Tia Badua. Reba Zuta Libada Breza. Kendele Gendele Buza. Mother Karua. God is interested with you. Kai Badia Badua. Shendele Bezia Tia Badua. I uproot you where man has placed you. I uproot you where your mind has placed you. I uproot you where politics have placed you. I plant you where God wants you to stand. Rendele Bezitaba. Shendele Beziada. Pandele Beziatiaba. Rondolo Bozakada. Periatia Badua. Rendele Beziatia Bada. Pai Po Randa Bezigadea. I clear parts for you. I korabasha kerima diaba pale para pesia mareba liba diabo mareba riba diabo shareba reba riabo bandele pesia tia badua mada karua hear the word of the Lord. God is interested with you. In the politics of this nation, your future is bright. You are a son in this nation. You are bright in this nation. You are raised in this nation. Kabo Zotobo, the devil is placing you where light will not shine. Where your light will not shine. God is interested with you, Mother Karua. You are a light in this nation. You are a voice in this nation. Kalaba Zotoba. Rende Beziti Bada. Pandele Beziati Abada. Marebo Zotolo Buza. Sheli Amandele Bezia. Maga de Broze de Bedia. Mother Karua. Hear the voice of the Lord. Maleba Zidi Badia. Leka do Brozidi Badia. Do not allow evil exchange to operate in your life where you have been misplaced. I place you in the direction of God. 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 Mother Karua, you are important in this nation. Your voice is needed in this nation. Marebo Zotolobuza, Shele Bendeli Badabroza, do not allow any other woman to take your place. Maragadalabe, Sherebe Diaba, Maragadarabeza, walk in the plans of God. Makadobo Dobo, Magade Bagada, Shege de Begede, let there be a spiritual commotion in the life of Mother Karua, Kere Keribada, Maregadalabeziada, Sherebe Ziati Abadua. Bara Bositi Bada, I assign angels, I deploy political angels, I pay Kali Kali Aba, Maragadalabe, Sharabadalabe, Sharabaderebe, you are a light, Ye Kali Kali Badaba, you are a light, you must enter in the right position, in the light, in the right place, in the right path, Kali Badiabo, that your light will shine. 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 You are a light in this nation. You are a light in this new revival that God is talking about. Maragada, Sherebezi, Kalibadiabo, Maragadalabe, Zotolobuziada, Sherebeziada, Rotolobuziade. Pare para pe Maragada la beza Sherebezi atiaba Rondolo buzi gidia Mare bali bada broza The feet of the righteous man Are ordered by the Lord Your destiny is great In this nation Maragadiaba The devil will not terminate your plans 
the devil will not terminate the plans of God concerning Mother Karua. Kalibari Badi Abudi, Sherebezi Ati Abadua, Marakata Labeza, Keri Badi Abuda. Father God, you spoke to my ears that I pray for Mother Karua because politically she has lost. Kalita Libada Broza, possession her father, possession her father, possession her father, possession her father, possession her Jehovah God. Marakata Leba, Sharabanda Labeda, Sherebende Lebida, Karabanda Labiadu, Mareba Ziti Badia, Kere Keria Bande Boza. Kali badi abu adi abuda, mara ganda la bida, shere bendele biado, pari 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 ato, kali bari bari ado, shere bari bari abu. The paths of the righteous man, they are ordered by the law. Kara baze debe, shere bendele bia. The paths of the just, kara bazi ada. The paths of the just is as the shining light that shines more and more to the path. Perfect day, the devil wants to quench the light of Mother Karua. The devil wants to silence her right into this nation. My father, I stand as your daughter. I stand as your servant. I stand as a warrior to defend and fight for the light of Mother Karua. Kari Bazuta, Pari Pali Para, Mare Bale Bada, Share Bare Bada, Bare Bare Bada, Kere Benderi Bada, Bare Bari Ada. Mare bare bada, he restored my soul. Restore Makadia, restore Hasso, restore Mother Karua to the right parts of politics. Bandele Beziada, Bandele Beziada, Bandele Beziada. You say to my spirit, O oh God, that this revival that is entering into the nation of Kenya, Mother Karua is very important in this, in political, Kari Pazia, Endevas, Bandele Bezia, Sherebe Diaba. Mara Bandele Bedia, but she must find the right person that will become the nation, the president of the nation of Kenya. This is where her light will shine. This is where her destiny will speak. This is where she will be ushered to be Kado Brozia, Keri Baziada, Pandele Beziada. Keri pali tali bada, keri bali adai boda, kari tali bada, chori kali abiada, bandele gendele bidia, choha maselo. Let your light shine upon Mother Karua. Let her step into the right lane. Let her find the right person that is aspiring for the presidential seat. Kandele gendele biadu. Mare bazuta libada, shere bendele biaduaba, rendele beziati abadua, mare bazuta libadaba, my father, my God. I join the two people together. I join the two people together. I join the two people together. I join the future of the president of the, the, the future president of this nation and Mother Karua together. I Kora Kurabaza, Sherebezi Kadiaba, Pari 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 Pakada, Pari 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 Pakada, Pale Pali Kada Broziada, Pandele Gendeli Bada. Let the Wikaliada, let the intercessors and the warriors run with this vision. Let the Kenyans run with this mind of Christ. Rendo Lubaziada, Pandele Gendeli Badiaba, Kaibadu Abu Adiaba, Zondolo Buza Gadiba, Shendele Biza Ndabeza, Shendele Biza Dabeda. Maragadiaba, I don't know how it will happen, but I'm speaking your mind, O oh God, stepping into this Nekadia, stepping into this situation, stepping into this alignment. Marabuzadaba, let there be spiritual commotion of alignment. Kaibado Badaba, Bandebe Zadaba, Bendebe Zadaba, Dembe Zendebeda, Bandebe Zodobodo, Bandebe Zedebede, Bandabo Zedebede, Bandabo Zedebede, Bandebo Zadabada. 
Bende beze de bede, banda boze de bede, mara banda la beda, shara banda la beda, shara banda la beda, randa la bende re beda. My Father, my God, then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their Father who was here. Let him hear. My Father, open the inner ear of Mother Karua. Kari bari badi abudi, bala bedi abiyadu aba. She is alive in the kingdom of this nation. Pari pari kada in the kingdom of God concerning the revival in the nation of Kenya that Jehovah God, the faith the president will pass on. Kadi badi pande besu diba, pare pozo to duba, kende kende boziada. You spoke to my spirit that she came. Keeps her word. Bande dibo diba diba. Bende bida bida bida. Kaido bida bida bida. Bende diba diba da buda. Pande bende bedi aba. I am just your vessel. I am just your mouthpiece, O God. I usher this prayer into your hands. I usher this prayer to the angels. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 1 and verses 14, are they not ministering spirits that are signed from heaven to minister to the needs of those that love Christ? My Father, palatori pata, pare palikada, share pa. Kataba, Shede Bedi Bidaba, Bande Bezudu Buddha, Kaiba Dia Baduaba. This is a personal decision, but I've passed it over Jehovah God in the place of prayer. Shere Bezi Atiaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This, I am just a vessel. There are some prayers God will give me that even I don't want. I don't even want because some prayers are very sensitive, but I have to obey because he is the one who called me. Amen. He is the one who called me. This is her decision to make, but God is interested with Mother Karua. And the Lord was telling me that she is a bright light in this nation and she must be connected to the right president, the fifth president in this nation so that she can shine. Amen. God is interested with her, in her, even in many years to come. I don't want to talk much because these some are personal that God spoke to me. Amen. But it is up to her to decide. If she wants her light to shine, let her pray and get the right path. Amen. But my prayer is that she fix very well where God wants her to be because that is my interest in this nation as my assignment. I want us to pray for, for Kisumu County. Glory be to God. These are two major prayers that I was, you know, debating with God. Amen. Amen. I want us to pray for that county. Amen. I want us to go to the word of God. I want us to go to the word of God. Amen. And I want us to go to Psalms chapter Chapter 50, Psalms chapter 50, Psalms chapter 50 and verses 5. Hallelujah. I saw a big, big wind, very big wind. Of course, finally the angels were able to deal with it. And I remember a few years ago, I saw about the same thing. And I think I spoke about it when I was speaking about, about, um, about Teso, Teso. I spoke about the same thing came to me last night. The wind was there, amen. And the Lord was telling me to open, to open, to open for specific people that are still padlocked, padlocked. And God is interested with them to stand in the gap in prayer for that land, amen. Gather my saints together. And by the way, many people from that place have been sending me messages telling me what God is speaking to them and showing them what is the mind of God and what they should pray for. And I was reluctant until God spoke to me that I should lead it in prayer. Amen. So gather my saints together to me, those that have made a covenant, a covenant with me by sacrifice. Gather those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Gather them, those that have made a covenant with me 
by sacrifice. I want us to go to Obadiah. Obadiah is a scripture that all of us know. Obadiah has only one chapter and we are going to stand verses 17 and 18. But upon Mount Zion shall deliverance and there shall, shall be deliverance. Aha, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their position. There are many that have been blocked. Their minds, their spirits, amen. We are going to tell the Lord, let there be deliverance in Kisumu. By the way, I have nobody in the mind, amen. I am just submitting prayers to you that God has given to me. I will also follow it up, amen, in prayer. There are people in Kisumu that God is interested with and God wants to use them in great revival, even in that county and in this nation. And that is why there have been so many battles in Kisumu, but God is going to help us. Amen. I believe they are Christians and I believe they are those that are not Christians, but God wants, there is an altar the Lord wants to deal with and we are going to deal with as we are dealing with altars in this nation for the third prayer. Amen. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. The house of Kisumu shall possess their possession. I have nobody in the mind. Get me right. Amen. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire and the house of Joseph a flame and the house of Esau for stop, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall no, not be any remain, remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken. There is something that must happen in Kisumu for new, I don't know what to say, for new things to start happening in Kisumu. There is some things that needs to be tackled with in that land. Amen. Marabu shatarabesa rendele bezi ati abadua randa labo zakadi abadua maya tudi badu bari ata lele bezi ti bende buzi adia you showed me kai kolabada the strong wind that is blowing kai badia marabu zata bedia kai badu prazi ata ibada. And you stopped the wind, my father. There is a key that you gave me to open for them that are bound. Open Kai Bande Bosa dear Mara Bosa Tiada. The souls and spirits of human beings in Kisumu. People have been closed, people have been shut. You say that I open Kisumu, it is like Jericho. Nobody gets in, nobody comes out. My father, I'm asking you by the masses of God, show Kisumu County Masse, open the Kai Koliaba, let the war fall, let the war fall, let there be an entrance. Let there be an exit and entrance. Marabu Zataba. Let there be political entrance. Let there be political exit. Mareba Zuta Labida. Bandele Beziati Abadua. Let it be a free city. Let it be a free city. Maraba Shatabade. Bandala Bendele Bedia. In the gospel and politics. Mara Bandala Beda, Keri Bali Atai Bada, Shere Bezi Atia Badua, let the voice of the church in Kisumu be loud, let the voice of intercessors in Kisumu be loud, Liba Zuta Libada, Shere Bezi Atia Bada, Bandala Bendele Bendele Bada, Rendolo Bezi Atia Bada, Rendele Bezi Atia Badua, Rendolo boza kadia bada, shere bezi tiba, reba zuta libada. My father speak to every county in this nation to stand in the gap for, for Kisumu County. Stand with the warriors. Talk to them in their dreams and vision. Let them stand for Kisumu. Rendele Biza. It is a stronghold in this nation. Mare Bazuta Libada. You say to my spirit that I should alert the intercessors in this nation to plead for mercy that the stronghold in Kisumu shall be delivered, Jehovah God. 
so that revival will not have hindrances. Revival will not have hindrances. Revival will not have any battle. Revival will not have resistance. Revival will not have unnecessary battles. Mare Bashanda Labedi, Rakata Labaza, Shere Bezia Tia Badua, Mare Bazete Lebezia, Shere Bendele Bedia Ba. Reba Zuta Liba Dabrezia, let the church be strong in Kisumu, Ripu Zita, Bande Bezidiba, Remba Zute Libada, Pandele Bende Libada, Shaima Dia Bua Dai Boda, Kaima Diba Diba Da Boda, Pendele Gende Liba Diabo, out of the bellies of the wells of Kisumu, let rivers of life flow, 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 Karabata la Beda, Karabata Rebada, Sharabata Rebada, Reba Zuta Liba Diaba, talk to warriors in that county, talk to intercessors in that county. Talk to the ministers of the gospel in that county. Talk to political aspirants in that county. Manda Lebo Zodoba. Kende Bezidi Badia. Keriati Abadiaba. What swallows politicians in that county? Today the Lord God Almighty is against you today. Pali Palapoda. What swallows the Christians in that county? Today the Lord is against you. You. Pala posa de besa, pale pazete bedia, that which swallows destinies and stars in a Kisumu county. Today the Lord is against you. Malabo zidi badia, pande besia tia badua, para pota la bedia, banda la bende le bedia, unda jeshi la koko limwengu wa kiro, dani amuji wa Kisumu buana, Inua wambezi, wajaze na nema, wajaze na nema, wajaze na siraza ulimwengu wa kiro, wajaze na maono na ndoto, wajaze na ukuna nema, nema ikashuke kisumu, karaba shata la beda. Mara banda la badi abu, bandele bendele bedi abu, reto rupari ataibada, pora pori ati abadia, pere peri ati abadia, bondoro 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 budua, kendele gendele bendele bia. Panda la bendele bendele bia para posa taba shere pesidiba rendele besiada mara bandele bedia shere bendele bedia bandele bendele biadu rendele bendele biadu rendele bendele biadu sharaba dara bedi bara bandala badiabu rendele bosiati abadua pare pare para pa I deploy angels in Kisumu. 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 I deploy angels of revival. I deploy angels of revival to bring down stronghold, to raise the stronghold of the tower of Jesus Christ. Maraba shatala beda, bare bare barabadia. Enter into the villages of Kisumu. Let the old intercede. Let the young intercede. Let the young intercede. Let the old intercede. Let the youth intercede. Let women wear. Let women wear. Let women wear. Let women wear. Let women hear. Let them mourn in the place of prayer. Let them mourn in the place of prayer. Let them mourn in the place of prayer. Sharabada rabada, karabanda la banda rabe. Sharabanda la banda la be. Randa la bende le bende le be. Sharabanda la bende le be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray for the nation of Kenya, and I want us specifically to deal with the throne of this nation. We are going to intercede for this nation and we are going to stand in the gap for this country 
and we are going to go to Isaiah Isaiah chapter 14 and verses 4 5 and 6 7 I don't know let's start with verses Okay let's do it that you shall take you shall take up this proverb you shall take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say how has the oppressor ceased the golden city ceased hmm. how has the oppressor ceased the golden city ceased we are praying for the seat of the president the presidential seat I have nobody in my mind but we are going to pray that God will preserve it God will keep it for the right person to sit on it the bible says that that you shall take up this proverb this parable this wise saying amen against the king of babylon this is counter attack you know or counterfeit not counter attack counterfeit It can also be counter attack because when the wrong president will sit on that seat the church of Kenya will have an attack amen <laughs> counter attack counterfeit we don't want a counterfeit president we don't want evil exchange the wrong president to sit on that seat we want the right president to sit okay to sit on that seat amen because of the revival that God is speaking about that have been aborted many times amen amen the bible says that has a ha and say how has the oppressor ceased the golden city ceased how has the oppressor ceased the golden city ceased remember the evil ego with many colors remember the lions remember remember amen the bible says that that this proverb that you shall take up this proverb against the king of a babylon and say how has the oppressor ceased how has he ceased how is he finished how is the oppressor destroyed how has the oppressor be destroyed and the bible says the golden city ceased i have nobody in the mind the golden city ceased amen the bible says in verses 5 the lord has broken the staff of the wicked i o kaka prosa and the scepter of the rulers that we are going to pray that god is going to break the scepter the ruler the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers he who smote the people in wrath with a continuous stroke he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hinders <laughs> glory be to god the bible says in verse 7 the whole earth is at rest when kenya will receive the right president the ordained president from heaven the bible says that there will be peace amen people will rest and where there is rest there is less death where there is there is rest there is economy rising up where there is rest there is peace where there is rest economy will expand amen Blessed be the name of the Lord. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. The nation of Kenya will be quiet. When Kenya will receive the right president, Kenya will be quiet. There will be peace. There will be deliverance. There will be expansion. There will be job opportunities. There will be marriages. There will be peace. There will be no death. There will be less death. When you get the wrong president, there is a lot of death amen there is a lot of death you know terrorism blah 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 and many and and by the way the next president when he steps in even if it is you know the right president when he gets into power of course the first one two years there will be commotion up and downs there will be up and down commotion as the nation is trying to settle amen as the nation is trying to settle what is happening under will start coming up amen so that one we also have to be alert the bible says that the whole earth verse seven is at rest and is quiet and they break forth into singing they break forth into singing amen they break forth into singing yeah 
The fir trees rejoices because there will be growth at you. And the cedars of Lebanon saying, since you are laid down, no fella or cutter of trees is come up against us. Even the trees themselves will be happy that there is no tree cutter has come against us. In other words, Kenyans will be happy that we no longer have problems. We no longer have torment, tormenting or whatever. <laughs> hey, amen. We are going to pray. We are going to pray this one prayer. Number one, we are going to tell the Lord, release the proverb against the king of Babylon and say to the king of Babylon, how have the oppressor of, uh, fallen or ceased or finished or ended? And how have the golden city ended? That is the first prayer. Then we, we are going to do like four more prayers. And then the way we do it in church, in Jesus' name. Marabo shata labida. Rendo lo buza kadia badua. Reta leba debrozia taibada. Isaiah chapter 14 and verses 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The Bible says that you shall take up this proverb. Father, we are taking the proverbs as warriors. Father, we are taking the proverbs as warriors. We are taking the proverbs as intercessors. We are taking the proverbs as Kenyans in this nation. We are taking it against the king of Babylon in the spirit realm. We are taking this proverb against the king of Babylon. Anda, lika, bota, leba, zente, boza, kadia. Let our voice be loud in the spirit realm. Let the voice of warriors, let the voice of intercessors, let the voice kai bodiba damrosia of the church of Christ, let the voice of Kenyans be heard in the spiritual realm by the king of Lebanon. How have the mighty fallen? How have the golden city be seized? Mareba Zotolo Buddha. How has the oppressor ceased? How has the city, the golden city ceased? Marabata la beda, sharabanda la badia, karaboza tabadia. I announce in the spirit realm. I announce loud in the name of Jesus. I announce in the spirit realm. I announce this proverb, O oh God. I announce this why say no oh God. I announce this parable, Jehovah God. Who kali kali bada against the king of Babylon? I korabo siada. I akuri bazia taibada against the counterfeit president. Against the the evil exchange in the seat of the president. Mare bazuta laba. How has the how has the, the, the how has the golden city ceased? How has the oppressor ceased? Maraba shataba, karaba zetebe, shara bandala be, bandala bezia taiba, rotoro bozia tia badua, bandala bendele bedia, bandala bendele bedia, shara bandala bendele boza, reto ruta rita ribada boda, zendele bezia tia badua. I announce it loud, Marebo Zuda, to the ends of the spiritual realm, to the ends of the world in the spiritual realm. Hi Kai Badua, Hi Kai Badua, how has the, the oppressor ceased? How has the golden city ceased? Maraba Shataba, Bandala Bandala Be, Kenya shall hear the folly of the king of Babylon. Kenya shall see the downfall of the king of Babylon. Kenya shall hear, Kenya shall see the season of the golden city of the king of Babylon. The oppressor, the season of the oppressor. Kenya shall hear, Kenya shall see it. Marabo Zada, Bande Bezadaba, 
Shanda ba zede ba, bande be zede ba, shanda ba zede ba, bande bo zaraba. I pray for the throne of the president of Kenya, my father, Asha in the right president, Asha in the right president. Let the angels Asha the right president, thy korabo shatiaba, pale palapa zutiaba, share parapa zatuaba, pare parapa. Parapa zetiaba, share parapa zetiaba, share parapa zetiaba. Let grace take a toko banda bozada. Let grace speak in this nation. Let grace speak in this nation. It is not because of the multitude. It is not because of the much money. It is not because of their campaign. But it is grace. It is grace. It is grace. It is grace. It is grace that will usher the right president in the nation of Kenya. It is grace that will aid Kayoka Ripata Parokare. Bazota li badaba, pare pala toli pari karaba, chere pale pari parapo, pare 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 parakata, charabanda la be, grace alone will usher the fifth president, grace alone will usher the deputy president, male bado, the deputy president in the fifth presidential election, pale badaba, chere bedia. My father, my God, the faith the president shall be ushered by grace. His deputy president shall be ushered by grace. Mala Dodo Boda, Shele Bendele Bede, the faith the president shall be ushered by grace. Male Bando Boziada, to the state of Soga, to the office of the president, the Kalipada, it is great that will usher Male Bada. His deputy president, Mareba Zuta Libada, my father, my God, grace will usher the president, grace will usher the faith, the president, grace will usher the faith president's deputy, Paloto Dubada, into the government, into the seat of the president, into the seat of the deputy president, my father, Kolabashe de Bedia. Bandele bendele buada, pare poro poriada, kere bezuta libada. Father God, we thank you. In Jesus' name. It is grace that is going to usher the fifth president and his deputy into the office of the president and into the office of the deputy president. These are two people that matter very much in this nation in this new revival that God is ushering. Amen. If the, if the president to be elected will get the wrong deputy president, his kingdom, his leadership, his office will shake. But if he get the right one, and it will interfere with what God wants to do. And if he receives the right deputy president in his government, then things will be good for him. Amen. And that is why we are praying that grace will usher the president, the faith president into his office and the faith deputy government, govern, deputy president, if there is such a thing, because I don't want controversy and I don't want battles. Amen. Now, we are going to do the second prayer in that line of, of praying for the president, the office of the president. The Lord, verses 5, has broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. We are going to tell the Lord, break the staff of the wicked. Break the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. Those that are ruling, those that are leaders, that are going to be to be uh, that are going to be or are already ordained by the diabolic power that are going to trouble this revival, that are going to trouble the government of Kenya, that are going to trouble the nation of Kenya. Let their rod be broken, let their scepter be broken, and let us rejoice in this nation. Amen. Kado bado bada, banda besiti badua, rende lebiza kadia. Mareba zuta liba da broza. Bandele bezi atia badua. Raka doko do braza. Shende lika dia badua. Rende lebiza kadia. 
banda la bozi ata shendele bezi kidia rendo lo buza dia ba bandele bendele buta liba da broza i pray according to your word in isaiah 14 and verses 5 the, ro- the Lord has broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. My Father, my God, break the staff of the wicked. Break the staff of the wicked. Break the scepter of the rulers. Diabolic rulers. Mareba Zuta Badea. Wicked rulers. Bandele Beziada. The staff of the wicked. Bandele Beza. The wicked. Marabada La Beda. The Libada Broziada. The staff of violence. The staff of violence. The staff of bloodshed. The staff of bloodshed. The staff of destruction. The staff of stealing votes. Bare Bazuda. Bandele Bezia. Frustrate their rakadia, frustrate their stance, frustrate their acceptance. Mara boza da bade, shanda la bendele bede, banda la bendele bede, bandele bendele bada broza, shanda la bendele bede abo, para pora pora po, para pora pora po, zata le bate bede. Kai badia badua badua rendele bezia tia badua my father my god in your hand there is power in your hands there is power shada broze debe bandere bezi di bada shanda la bendere bede banda la bendere bede shanda la bendere bede Banda la bendere bede, shandara bendere bede, banda la bendere bede, shandara bendere bede. First Samuel chapter 2, Jehovah God, the Bible says in verse 6, the Lord kills and the Lord makes alive. He brings down to the grave and brings up. Verse 7, the Bible says, the Lord makes the poor and makes rich. He brings low and lifts up. He raises up the poor out of the dust and lifts up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes, to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the other, the Lord. And he has set the world upon them. My Father, my God, the pillars of the world, the pillars of the world, they are yours. You have set the pillars of the world. You have set the pillars of the world. You have set the pillars of the world. My God, my Father, break the scepter. Break the scepter of rulers. Break the scepter of rulers. Break the staff of the, of the wicked. Mareba Zidaba. You are the one that set the pillar. Bandele Bezia of the world. Set the pillars in this nation. Set the pillars in this nation. Set the pillars in this nation. Set pillars in this nation. Set pillars in this nation. Set pillars in this nation. Pillars of revival. Pillars of peace in this nation. Pillars of rest in this nation. Pillars of economic cycle. Akadia. Pale paliaka. Pala paliaka. Pale kaliaka. That is set pillars of the world. Marebo zodo. Upon them. Upon the poor. Upon them. Upon those that you want to raise. Upon them that you want to make, upon them that you want to raise, upon them that you want to glorify, you set your pillars upon them. Maka loko toko bandabosa. During this election, set pillars in every ballot, set pillars in every station, set polka kolopa zedebroziada. Peli pali pada. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We have two more. Allow me to pray using them. You can also use First Samuel chapter 2 and verses 9. What I was praying. Mm-hmm. I think uh, they will put it on the screen. Because I think we'll deal with it next Sunday. I think I'll use it. The Bible says that verses 8. That he raises up the poor out of the dust. And lifts up the beggars from the dung hill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the other, the lords, 
and he has set the world upon them. He has set them, he has set the world upon them. The world, the government of Kenya, we shall pray next Sunday about it as I pray over it to know what and what I will add. But we shall pray that time that God is going to set pillars in this government. Amen. Because he's the one that made them. We have very few minutes. We are going to do number six. He who smote the people in wrath with a continuous stroke. You know, continuing every time. You remember, you remember, you know, I'm not saying it is that. I'm giving an example, the rod, the rod of leadership, the rod of the president, you know. So every president that sits on the seat, whether it is in your county, you have a governor, they must lead us with a stroke of peace and love, but not a stroke of destruction. Amen. The Bible says continue stroke, you know, you know. That is, we are going to pray not only for the president, but also for our governors. And the Lord has been giving me burdens to pray for the governors, to pray for their deputies and women representatives or women. You know, the Lord has been putting that in me. I don't know why, but he understands better. We are going to tell him, he who smote the people in wrath with a continuous stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger and persecuted and, and none hinders. We are going to tell God, let the president you are giving to us, let the deputy president you are going to give to us, let the governors in our counties and their deputies and the women representatives that you are giving to us, let them not be those that are going to smite, to smite us in their wrath continually, you know, and let them not rule us in anger and let them not persecute us and that there will be nobody to hinder them. Let there be pillars that are going to hinder evil people and let God give us people that are not going to persecute us, that are not going to lead us in their anger, that are not, that nobody can question them. If you question them, you find yourself you are dead. If you question them, you find that you have been demoted. If you question them, you are in trouble. <laughs> Amen. You are retrenched, you know, or you are hijacked and kidnapped. We are going to tell God this morning, let us have the right leaders. Amen. We will start with our president and the deputy. We go to our county, the governors and the deputy and the women representatives in this nation. Amen. Maka Lopa Zete Brosia. We stand with your word in Isaiah 14 and verse 6. He's, he who smote the people in wrath with a continuous stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hinders. Banda, Leba, Zuta, Liba, Dabroza, persecute, O oh God, those that have been persecuting us. Persecute them and let none hinder. Kando bo satabadia. Rende lebo zata labuda. My father, my God, I pray this morning. Ma rebo zoto lobuda. Those that are persecuting us in our county. Those that are persecuting us in our nation. My father, my God, let them be persecuted. That none will hinder when they are being persecuted. Number two prayer. Give Give us leaders, O oh God, that will not continue leading us in stroke, that will not lead us in anger, that will not persecute us, that will not hinder us to question them. Maragada la boza, shanda la bendele beza, banda la bonda liba da brosiada, kere keria bande boza. Give us honest leaders. Give us the integrity, O oh God, that have integrity, Jehovah God. Leaders of excellence, O oh Father. Leaders of skills and humility. Leaders with the heart of God. Leaders with the heart of man. Leaders that are going to invest and make the nation of Kenya to grow. Rabo Zotoloboza. We reject leaders. We reject the fourth president. Dakando Buziada. We reject we reject evil president. We reject evil, uh, evil deputy president. We reject evil uh, governors. We reject evil.
evil deputy governors. We reject evil women representatives. Give us the right leaders, O oh God. Give us the right leaders, O oh God. Leaders that are going to show the nation mercy. Leaders that are going to be moved by the hearts of many. Leaders that are going to meet Kalu Kaliba Dabroza. Kandala Bezia Tiabadua. Leaders that are going to see the cries of the Kenyans and their tears will move their hearts to act, O oh God. Maraboza Daba. Women representatives that are going to stand with the widows, that are going to stand with orphans, that are going to stand with the women, that are going to stand with the children, that are going to stand with the work of God, that are going to bring development. Mareba Zuta Labida, Bandele Bezia Tiabadua, that are going to represent women well in the parliament, O God. Rito Ripa Zita Bada, Shendele Bezia Tiabada, women that are going to bring growth in our constitutions, women that are going to bring growth in our county, women that are going to bring growth in this nation. Give us governors, O God, that are going going to lead us with your staff, that are going to lead us with your staff, the staff of growth and peace, the staff of peace and integrity. Give us a president, O oh God, that will hear the heart of Kenyans, that will sit and talk with them, that is going to fulfill what they say and their request as a nation, that there will be peace, O oh God. Rendolo boziati abadia, kara bozata la beda, shanda la bendere bezia, bare bade de bedi abadua, rendele beziati abadua, do not give us leaders that are going to torture the nation of Kenya, that are going to Kalibadi Abada, that are going to lead the nation of Kenya and our counties with the road of anger, with the road of persecution, with the road of destruction, with the road of kidnapping and destroy, but leaders that are going to stand for us, leaders that are going to hear us out, leaders that are going to promote our nation and county, Maraba Shatara Boda, leaders that are going to stand in the ministry of hell, that the Sikati Abada, that health will flourish and not wither. Health will flourish and not wither. Health ministry will flourish and not wither. Mare Bazuta Libadaba. Shendele Bende Libadabrosa. In Jesus' name we pray. The final prayer we are going to join, verse 7 and 8. That the whole earth, the whole of this nation, the nation of Kenya, our counties, you know, and the nation of Kenya will be at rest and is quiet. There will be no problems. It is quiet. There will be no problems. There are, this thing can work and it will work. Remember Kijabe, you know, that place, the missionaries prayed. There were no people smoking, no people drinking. It was a Christian area. I don't know what happened, but because there are people who prayed, the atmosphere changed. So God is able to give us rest, to give us rest in economy, in our finances, in the ministry of health and education. Amen. Yes, health. We need peace. We need rest in these ministries. Amen. And the Bible says that, and it's quiet. There is no battle. There is no, you know, that the nation of Kenya, there is peace. The prayers we are praying is releasing blessing. Give our president peace. Give him, you know, as he travels. Let, you know, these are prayers we shall pray because there is no prayer of war when God brings peace in this nation. Amen. And the Bible says they break forth into singing. How can you break forth into singing when there is no peace? How can you break forth into singing when there is mourning? When you have no job, you have no food to put on the table, your marriage is scattered, you know, your children are vagabonds, 
The church is scattered. The church has no voice. How will we, how can we break forth into a new song if there is no peace in our nation and our county, in the ministry of education, in the hospital? There is no peace. People are just dying because of negligence, because of lack of medication, because the workers, the, the, the medics are not paid well and their salary is delayed. How by the county? How will they serve and treat the patients well? Amen. The Bible says, yeah, the fig trees rejoice at you. You who is going to be the next president. You who have been anointed and ordained by the Lord. There will be no demotion. There will be no retrenchment. There will be no... Businesses will not be shut down. Why? You can't cut a tree. When you cut them, they cannot progress. Amen. Churches will not be closed. Amen. Glory be to God. And the Bible says, and the cedars of Lebanon. Cedars metarakwa. Mielezia Lebanon. These are the strongest trees. Amen. Cedars, they are most expensive. They have a smell, a scent that is nice. They are acknowledged in the Bible in Lebanon. Saying, since you are laid down, no fella is come to up against us. Since the king of Babylon is brought down, since the scepter of the rulers is brought down, since the staff of the wicked is brought down, hey, since the king of Babylon is seized and his golden city is seized, amen. The Bible says that even the trees, the nation of Kenya will be happy because the fella, the one that cuts the trees is no more. Amen. So they will grow, they will blossom, they will excel. That is our final prayer. And we are going to tell the Lord, let the leaders that you are giving to us be leaders of peace, quietness of the nation and institutions and ministries in the departments, in the government, and above all, that there will be no cutter. Amen. There will be no cutter of our economy, stealing money, doing funny, funny things, you know what I mean in Jesus' name. Father God, we thank you. What a way to crown our prayers. Bara po sharabata. Mara ba zete de bida. Shanda la bende ribo siata. Randa la bezi atia badua. Bai koli pahadia. The Bible says the word of God is you. The Bible says that in the beginning there was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and same was the word in the beginning. The word is the light. I stand with your word in Isaiah 14, verses 7 and 8. The whole earth is at rest. Because the Babylon, the king of Babylon is no more. Because the king of Babylon have been seized. Because this city has been seized. This Kako, Ai, Kabota, Lepa, Lia, Tia, Bando. Because the scepter is broken. Because his breaker, Lika, Libada, his staff is broken. Banda, La Besa, Tia, Ba. There is peace and rest in this nation. Reko, Talabazia. The trees are not afraid. The trees are not afraid. The cedars of Lebanon are not afraid. The far trees are not afraid. We are breaking forth into singing. Maraba shata la beda. Mareba zuta la badia. We break forth to singing. We break forth to dancing. Because the scepter of the wicked have been broken. The scepter of the rulers have been broken. The staff of the wicked have been broken. The king of Babylon have been seized. Kando Libada, his golden city is no more. Kalaba Shendebe, Zondo Lubadiaba, Lele Bazidibada. He that ruled us continually with a stroke of pain, with a stroke of persecution, with a stroke of anger is no more. There will be peace. Karaba shata la beda. Kareba zoto lobosia. Rendele besia tia badua. Mara banda la banda. The cutter will not cut the fig trees. The cutter will not cut the cedars of Lebanon. 
The cutter will not cut the pillars that God is setting in this government, that God is setting in the government of our county, that God is setting in our lives. Maraba shatara beda, karabanda la bendele beda, chendele bendele buta libada breza, chere bendele bida ribada breza, chendele bezi ati abadua, Bandala, bandala, bandala be, shandala, bendele, bandala be, zandala, bendele, bandala be, sharabando, karabaziado, shandara, bendele, bediabo, bandele, bendele, badabreza, shere, bezi, ati, abadua, rebo, zoto, robo, zi, ati, abadia, kai, ko, karabasha, pele, poriada, Mara banda la be, shara banda la be, bandele bezia. Let Kenya enter into the era of quietness. Let Kenya enter into a place of quietness. Let Kenya enter into the office and the room of peace and quietness. In the house of dancing and singing. Mara boza da bade, shara banda la bendele be. Zondo lo bozi ati abadua, rebo zoto lo bozi ati abadia. My father, my God, ma rebo zudaba. Tuingize mahali pa mani taifa la Kenya. Tuingize mahali pa furaha na mani na kushangilia. Kai kako kali kaya, pai koka kale kede, pai kaku kale kedi. Paika kuka leke dia, pale pala kuteli kada, shaima dia buali ada, bande bozi di bada, pare poro pori ati aba, maya tuli bada, quietness in education, quietness in the ministry of health, quietness in the ministry of agriculture, quietness in other offices oga, quietness oga. In the Ministry of Finance, my Lipa, Lele Paliada, Chele Bandelidada, quietness in the mountain of religion, quietness in the mountain of families, quietness in the mountain of economy, quietness in the mountain of youth, quietness in the, in the mountain of economy, the mountain of education, the mountain of families and the youth and religion. My Koli Kaima Diabota Leba Pale Paraporia Tiabiadu Mayete Lele Diabba Paro Paladeria De. We want peace in the body of Christ. We want peace in the government of Kenya. My father. Let the body of Christ be lifted higher than the government. That the Gakaku Kala, that the body of Christ will have a voice. Marebo Zodorobuza, the battle you win in the spirit is the battle that you win in the physical. Sharabadara body, Barabandara body abu, Bandara bandala bedi. Shara bandala bandele beda, randala bendele bediaba. You started this, you will bring it to an end, O oh God. Father God, I thank you and I bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I want to thank you for that powerful session of intercession. And I'm asking you with humility that you are going to push many warriors and intercessors to pray concerning these prayers that I've given to them. Some of them may not be with me, but you will speak to them wherever they are because this is your spirit and there is no division with your spirit. Your spirit is one. Father, I want to thank you and I want to bless you. I want to pray specifically for those that we have mentioned here. We have prayed for Mother Karua. We have prayed for Kisumu County. We have prayed for the seat and the throne of the president, the deputy presidents, 
the deputy president that you are giving us this year, and also our governors, their deputy governors, and the women representatives that you have given my heart to intercede because you need them and because you have a better plan for those people. I am not overlooking the others, the MCs, the MPs, and all those that are leaders in our counties and this ministry and this government of Kenya. I am asking you, Father, that you are going to hear us and that our prayers will be incense before your presence and that you are going to assign angels to follow up and to honor our prayers and we shall glorify your name. I want to cover all the warriors and in the intercessors in the blood of Jesus. And as usual, I'm asking you, Father, that angels will be deployed. Speak to them through dreams and visions and burden them even as we are coming near to the elections in this nation. Father, in the spirit realm, just like a link angels, we are holding our hands together with every Kenya that want peace in this nation, that desires that there will be no violence. Father, that is what we are doing today, that there will be no violence in this nation, that there will be peace and quietness, and the nation of Kenya will break forth into singing because of your preservation and because of answering our prayers. Father God, I want to thank you and I want to bless you because you are God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Continue praying. My father, Pastor Johnson Suleiman, is coming to Kenya on 1st and 2nd of March. And we are meeting at the Nyayo Stadium Gymnasium Basketball Hall. This is where we are meeting. Of course, we have extensions outside, but this is where we are meeting. I would pray that you spread the news. And those that are following me and praying with me, there is the... There is, a, a, there is a, a clip that I have sent. You can share it to your friends. Who knows? It could be your day. Always remember that where there is a prophet, there is a testimony. And by the hands of Apostle Damaris, signs and wonders and miracles are our portion in this nation. In Jesus' name, amen.